Hello friends, I'm Dr. Pooja Kapoor, consultant pediatric neurologist, Paras Hospital Gurgaon, director and co-founder of Kanchinjava Kids. So the topic of today's discussion is how to let my child speak. A child who has been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, how to make my child speak. So before we start this, let us get to the basic of as what are the different stages as to how a normal child or a neurotypical child starts speaking. So to start with, a child who is from four month old starts cooing. Then after from four month onwards to the age of eight months, the child will start using a vowel and a consonant. So, ba ba, a a. So, a e i o u. These are the vowels as we know in English or Hindi swarnwala me vengeen or swar. Okay. So, these are all the vowels. So, a child starts using the vowels first. And then comes the usage of with the vowel, a consonant. And then the vocabulary develops to one word, two word and then multiple words. By the age he starts or he goes off after by the age of 10 to 11 months. So with few picking of words, then comes the joining of words. Joining of words means a verb and a noun. So, de do, mujhe de do, ye rak do, keep it, give me. So, these are the verb, a noun, me, you, they. So, noun and a pronoun are used. He understands what does that signifies. So, noun could be a thing and an object and then pronoun. So, this is how by slowly they pick up the words and then they start using a and joining the words. So, this is for a regular child. What happens in our children? In our children who have got autism. So, for them, you would be surprised to know that they, you, they don't start using the words like as in a normal child. Out of a blue, the child would say very typical and very difficult word like apple, aeroplane, um, encyclopedia. He may or may not use or he may or may not go according to as a neurotypical child goes from cooing to babbling of vowels from vowels to use of consonants, from then to few difficult words, from difficult words to joining of words. No. For a neuroatypical child, there may be some random words which maybe the parents have not taught them. And just by listening on a television or from anywhere around, they perceived it and as and when required, they use it. So, you may see children who may be uh, telling you C for crocodile. But he may knows, know, not use Papa, Mama, Baba, Dada. So, you know, that is the problem with these children. And that is why... To make a child learn speech and language, we don't progress in the same routine way as we progress in a neurotypical child or a child who has got hearing loss. So suppose who has got a hearing loss, once you will uh, put him the hearing aid, he will start listening the word and then you can go according to the normal develop as a normal development of a child grows, the speech grows. We use the same process. But, but for a child who has got autism spectrum, we don't use the same sequence of events 
as a neurotypical child so for an autism child who is like 2 years has not been vocal yet i will not start with uh, the vowels because maybe he may be speaking already some difficult words which may be contextual and which may be non contextual means if you ask him if you point towards a picture and ask him what is this what is this and then on a picture book he may tell apple banana um crocodile cartoon dog but then he may not use if you point towards the uh, father and will ask who is he he may not speak papa which is a simple word he may not speak mamma or dada or baba once you point towards an object or once you point towards a figure so and because of this all the laws all the principles everything are which we use in for hearing impairment to get the speech or for other children we don't use those sequences okay so uh before i go into how to tackle these children and how to get words from these children the there's a lot of study that why these our children do not speak when asked for or why they do not talk contextually they will go into one corner and talk all poems and rhymes and all but once they are asked in for why they don't do it so a lot and a lot of studies has been done they have done mri they have done mic scans they have done a lot of lot of uh, investigations have been done and few positive studies which have demonstrated that that a child who has got autism they have got a bigger brain volume as compared to the child who is a normal neurotypical child in a very early stage of infancy so if you will compare a child who is 9 months uh, a typical child and an autism child so a child who's got autism they have got bigger brain volume this has been reproduced in a lot of studies and a lot of parents also come and tell us that a child of 9 months are using words a child who's got autism and who's of 9 months are using words like bye bye de do chalo whereas a neurotypical child would not use that he would just use maybe baba dada mama simple words which are just a vowel and a consonant okay so and later they found out as they have a bigger brain volume they pick up things fast but then they go into regression and they go into either they become static or their brain stops growing or at point they go into smaller size also and that is the cause for not picking up the speech not picking up the language and that is why they lag in the verbal things and they have also done the biopsies and found out where the the connections from where we speak they don't have that area of the brain which is developed for the speech and language and socializing it is not developed so why this happens we don't know we still are not aware of what is the exact cause of why these developmental changes happen in our children and these is are uh, still under study so we know only the anatomy we know only the biopsy finding but why these happens are still under investigations so now let us come back with this background history with this background uh, knowledge of uh, our morphology and all let us find out the ways then how to get our child do the stuff or learn speech and language let's how to make the child verbal so the first thing is don't go by the rules of a neurotypical child the second rule is as soon as you get the chance 
pick up that means that if you are just playing with a child maybe in a pool baby you are bathing the child and at that point of time you are having the maximum attention of the child that is the time when you have to connect and bombard him with smaller words which you can demonstrate also in front so that means if you are bathing a child he is a good mood he is receptive you are getting some eye contact then put him some verb soap show him the soap soap put him on the body wash then produce some bubbles bubbles you know you are getting the connection maximally at that point of time when the child is happy with you so similarly if your child is very good at rhyming so he is singing poems he is rhyme he is saying johnny johnny yes papa so that is the point when you know that he loves rhymes and all so in whatever tone and pitch he is using use a bit a bit upper pitch and an upper tone to get his attention and then try singing that poem and in that singing that poem if you get the attention of the child then you can demonstrate nose eyes head you know because your child at that point of time is really looking in towards you because you have gained in the attention through your singing or through your rhyming or through whatever he likes that is the point of maximum maximum attention and that point has to be used so to gain in and to give you the vocabulary also try to use as much amount of sensory things as possible so if you are making the child speak make sure that you make the child sit on your lap also give that touch also give that auditory stimulus also if you want you can have the bubbles to have a visual thing or you can move your uh, wherever the child is sitting you can move that thing so that he gets that vestibular feel also so when you have all the sensory thing in your um, gr grip then that's the point of maximum attention and that point of time you can just feed him bombard him with picture words you can show a picture or like apple banana mango whatever you want to teach you want to teach him body parts you want to teach him whatever you want to teach that is the time when you can teach also there are uh, things associated specifically specifically with children who have got autism like sometimes they just don't want to speak they will just you will ask him okay tell me your name what is your name obviously he may be knowing his name and at points he may have spoken you my name shorya but at points when he is inattentive in spite of knowing the vocabulary in spite of knowing his name and in spite of his being telling before his name he would say sure sure so he would not use his you know he will not use his volume which he used to have whenever he was attentive so at that point of time just try to distract him again to something which he likes so we had a child who could read the books he could read the books because he has a very good picture memory he would recognize the word in spite of not being taught so he would read that there is a crow in the garden in the garden then there is a pitcher which is not full of water then there is so he could read this this these these words as pitcher as crow garden but then whenever we ask him what is your mother's name mamta so he won't even like you know you could see that there is no attention there and he would not answer to whatever you want him to answer whereas whenever you ask him to read he would read because that is his interest area 
so you know now we know that his interest area is books and reading so at that point of time i would utilize this source as to feed him with the vocabulary i would get n number of books to make him read which have got good pictures and also which have got uh, you know the words there so in that way you would be able to feed him with a lot of vocabulary which he may not be using at once when it's when it's asked for so instead of just asking what is your mother name maybe i'll just show him the mother's picture his mother's picture first because he could recognize the picture in a better way and then ask him okay mother so mother name is mamta so mamta and then again to the figure where mama is there mamta you know just to get that correlation to set in his mind that okay whenever i have to ask this figure i have to tell mamta so this is how it works it's a slow process you have to make sure you have to know what is the best for your child what is the perception time especially the perception time best is where the child perceives a lot is in the mornings or at night when you are going to sleep so we see a lot of children who will start just babbling talking jumping on the bed whenever the lights are closed or whenever the parents take them for a uh, sleep because that is the time for maximum connectivity with a normal child also if you will just see that a neurotypical child also would like to tell you whatever happened throughout the day uh, at night because you are lying on the bed it's a cozy place you are uh, there lights are uh, dimmed off there are no external stimuli for the child to get attracted or distracted and that point of child a neurotypical child would tell you mama i went there then uncle told me this aaj ye hua this all happened in the class my teacher told me this so because you know the environment is very cool and confident and very relaxing so uh, you can reproduce that for your child who is <coughs> neuro atypical or have got autism so at that point of time you can make him lie on the bed in your clothes thick you can give him deep pressures you can tell down stories because at that point of time he is receptive you can speak to that child but make sure don't use long lengthy sentences because he does not have that attention span of listening to whatever you are telling so it has to be just a noun and a verb a noun and a verb ye de do mamma ye papa ye shoru shor ye eyes so you know that is the point when you can use that or high five de do so a verb would help out a noun would help out and that point of time you can also have stuffed toys or pictures also where you can show so uh, so in the nutshell if you will ask me how you have to go about it so the rule is different the ball game is totally different you cannot make the child just move the lips and say ah ba no because a uh, ba these are not the way a child who has got autism has to be taught so a lot of parents tell and come ma'am maine i i have made my child speak ba a uh. you know this there is not a problem over here of articulation a child who has got problem with articulation that means a child who has got problem with this lower the lips the tongue movement the muscles of mastication or these muscles a problem could be in the articulation when you have problem in these areas so a child who has got cerebral palsy the control from the brain to this part of the uh, articulation is not good and because of that the tongue movements the jaw movements you know when we speak you you do a lot of movements of the lip to speak words like hindi mein t work wale so 
to tho do dho na that's a that's a type of movement of the tongue which you have to make jaise t th d d h na so for that t work that's a different frame that's a different articulation p p b b m so over here the lips move for the p work but over here these are the problem with the um, cerebral palsy kids but over here these are not the problems with a, a child who's got autism the articulation is very good it is because they don't want to speak and so you have to use totally different techniques for them to speak rather than a child who has got articulation defect okay so i think i've made my point very much clear and uh, uh house is open for the questions so let us see where we could find any questions okay so jitendra hi jitendra my son is 3 year old his vocabulary is very good he has some mild autism symptoms isa score is 67 he is not hyper and follows 80% of our commands many times he doesn't give us answer in first time but when asked three to four times then he gives answers he doesn't give much attention while sitting actively what should we do for his attention improvement so jitendra you have already done so good work for your child that his vocabulary has become very good he 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 follows the command he is not also hyper and he starts giving you have started responding to you in the first time and maybe three or four times but now the concerns are he doesn't give much attention while sitting actively so there could be two things first of all in certain children with mild autism they have like going getting lost somewhere so whenever they are doing something you are doing blocks with them you are doing um, puzzles with them they are actively involved and then they would answer because they are they are there with you but at times children who have been diagnosed with mild autism they have that they once they are not involved they are not engaged either they will start humming or either they will try to stimulate themselves by flapping or by humming or at points they may go just inattentive or lost so after you call them after three or four times you get their attention back and then you start connecting again or there could be there is an entity which you called as autism with adhd where there is in attention so out of these two i really have to find out what it could be and for that i really need to see the child because if he is really inattentive uh, he would not have picked up that much of the vocabulary and 80% of the command i think this is the first of the type that he has got autism a part of it still there and because of that he is doing all this so the rule for if it is the first entity that means he has got the autism and small int the uh, last part of the autism where you are just a bit inattentive and you can get recall after 3 to 4 times so the 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 answer lies over here only that you have to make his uh, you know you just cannot give him his me time because if you are going to give him a lot of me time then these spells of inattention would grow so make sure that you have you know you always tap him or get his attention back don't give him a lot of me time where he just gets lost and then the to name calling and then it becomes a hard thing the second thing is that that whatever activity he likes the best make sure that he does that activity during that part of time when you are not there and you are not able to give the full attention you are not there physically because that point also he will do very well and that point also he will be attentive now the second part is if this is inattention which is because of the adhd component then this child again requires a uh, full testing to find out because if that is the thing then we give medications which are used for attention so out of these two i really need to find out for that i need a full assessment for my child okay so hi minakshi 
So ma'am, my child is 2.7 years old and now he has started saying mamma, de do, animal's name, things, if we ask what is this. But now he's got cold and I am unable to do therapies. We are from Jodhpur ma'am. So cold does not, so even if you are not going out somewhere, then you can do the same therapies what I've been told to you. Cold is not just a criteria to stop therapies. Thand to sabhi ko lagti hai. So mama, you have to continue because that's the takeoff stage you with your child. If you stop it, you again would have a fall. And then again to pick up again would take a lot of effort, which you really can be frustrating at times. So make sure even though the child has got cold, please, please do start doing whatever he likes. Get to his ways. Don't go to your ways, but get to his ways. And also make sure because we are living like in Delhi and Sia, there's a lot of pollution. We are getting sick. Um, all our children are getting sick very frequently. Make sure that you give your child steam. Because just plain water steam, because that will just clear up all my, uh, you know, the 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 tracks, the respiratory tracks, and the infection would have less chance to flourish over there. Second is just give that uh, haldi wala dud, because you know that like it's an antiseptic. Also, you can give like uh, that ginger ginger, um, uh, you know, uh, you compress and. Uh, you can give ginger along with uh, some honey. Uh, not good amount of honey because honey again is a sweetener thing and you can have hyperactivity with that. But little amount of honey because that also is quite antiseptic. So these are all the Ayurvedic things which we use frequently. And also you can supplement with some uh, multivitamin. So that's why the immunity of my child is good. Also, you can have air purifiers at your place. Also, you can plant a lot. You can have a lot of plants in your house so that you don't fall sick very frequently. Okay. Because the viral infection, once the child gets viral infection, the child would get irritated and then you, they don't do anything. But to make the child strong, you have to build in the immunity first. And even though the child has cold, don't stop just doing everything. Change the ways, whatever the child likes, make sure you do it according to the child. Okay. Uh, Eza Sayed. Hi, Eza. Hello, ma'am. My son is three years old and he just speaks five to ten proper words and often speaks meaningless sentence in continuously. Your child needs complete evaluation, Eza, because three years old, five to ten words is not a great thing. Now, what is the cause? I really need to work on that. <clears throat> ben Dev. Kya ek do saal ki age mein zada TV mobile dekhne se wo brain development missing hoti hai? Yes, definitely. It has been proven that screen time causes decrease in the cognition. That means the intelligence later on. Second, they cause a delay in the language and speech development. Third is they cause a lot of temper tantrums. So these has been proven very well. So yes, definitely. And one to two years of age is the time when you get the maximum stimulation for the development of speech and language. Okay. Hi, Anupama. Hi. Hi, Vandana. Hi, doctor. I'm doing same, but she just repeat like developing equal alia. How to control? Okay. So like, look, equal alia, a lot of parents just get confused ki jo hai, what equal alia is. So equal alia as one point of time is the development in the speech and language development. That's one milestone. So a child who is like one and a half, one year old, whatever you will speak, he will speak the same thing irrespective of knowing the reason or irrespective of um, uh, the, knowing the meaning of whatever you are telling. If you will tell him, okay, ma, you are a lalu. So he will say you are a lalu. Or if you will say tell I am a lalu, he will say I am a lalu. So you know that is like repetition of whatever you are telling irrespective of knowing the meaning and this is how a child learns speaking. So, so they just would see, will talk the same thing again and again, whatever he has been asked to do, or they will repeat whatever has been told. And slowly, 
when they will pick up okay whenever i say i am a lalu everybody laughs so that means something is wrong you know then they start putting and then they will stop so this is how a child picks so if he is developing echolalia i don't know which stage of development you are in the speech but at one point of time echolalia is a normal procedure for the development of the speech and language in a normal neurotypical child also but that depends on so to get off from echolalia you have to use and give the answer also so suppose you'll ask him okay this uh, my name is uh, puja so you have to tell him that your name is whatever you have to uh, whatever his name is your name is shorya so now you ask a question what is your name and then tell him the answer also my name is shorya so because he will just speak down what is your name what is your name what is your name so the next step is after you tell what is your name tell my name is shorya so once you put up a question and you put up a answer after you put up the question give a pause then tell the answer also so that now he knows that he has to speak this so this is how you can stop echolalia after you know that you have reached that stage where echolalia has really helped him to learn then you put up the answer in the question yourself tell him the answer and then he will repeat and then he will correlate again okay uh hi anandita ma'am can you please explain how much eye contact and name response is good for a 10 to 11 month old baby because not even typical children don't respond to their name always yes i agree to that that always if you'll ask him a child sure so first he will look but again after 2 minutes he will say sure he will look but then third time maybe he will not look because he knows that you are just calling him for nothing so the thing is whenever you are connecting with the child first time suppose the child is playing he is very intense intensively engrossed in the thing maybe a normal child also will not look into that but if you will show them something very good which he likes the child and then name it okay sure ya dekho idhar dekho so now in spite of he not knowing he is he doesn't know that you are holding some object or not but because you have used some word dekho idhar dekho jaldi aao if he has to look because now the vocabulary which you are using is very interesting so now if the child looks a child has to look for this whereas a child who has got autism they will not even look for no matter what happens but if the child these children also once a child who's got one and a half year of age if he'll say sure yeah he will not look but he will say sure yeah chalo then he'll understand chalo and then he'll come back to you whereas a normal child at one and a half year of age sure yeah so he will look obviously for the first time to whatever has been told whatever whenever has his name been called but if you'll use that shorya 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 again then the normal neurotypical child will not look into but for the first few time for 9 to for 11 months a child has to look from multiple time if you call him the child neurotypical will not look whereas agar if you want to ask the percentage wise for 11 month old it is like 80% of the child if you are calling at various intervals or various time he will look 20% of child he will not look the situation is totally opposite with autism spectrum of 11 month 80% of the child they will not look 20% they may look similarly for one and a half year if we will use that phrase of shorya chalo to definitely all the children be it neurotypical and multiple times autism spectrum also they will look because you have used the phrase chalo whereas if you will use it for uh, only name purpose for one and a half again it depends on whatever the child is doing 
but in next two or three times he has to look back because even if he ignores the first time he is busy but then if you tell him second time third time he will understand why my parents are calling then he will look back so but at one and a half year a normal uh, 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 autism child will not look back irrespective of calling him 100 times because he is not interested in the name if you use another phrase for him in which he is interested then he will get connected okay Uh, I think Anupama, a girl child is, hi Anupama, a girl child is diagnosed with virtual autism. Parents informed about lot of screen exposure was given to her at the age of 18 months. Now she is not answering to parents when they ask something. She is a verbal child. So the concern is what? I, uh, uh, I think I am not getting she if she is a verbal child she is not answering to parents when they ask something but then you are telling me she is a verbal child I don't understand the meaning Anupama I need more clarification on this hi Siddharth my son my kid five year old continuously babbles I consult with a speech therapist saying it will fade when vocabulary increase. So, you know, it's a chicken and egg condition. So, the babbling will stop when the speech will come. And I say, uh, when the bab when the speech, no, 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 uh, let me phrase it, sorry. So, uh, it is said that the, the speech therapist is saying it will fade off when vocabulary will increase, the babbling will go. But what I am telling you, let the babble go, the speech will come. Understood? So, I want the babble to go and then the speech will come. Whereas the therapist is saying, when the vocabulary will increase, the babbling will go. Because, why I am to, I'm going against this? Because this babble could be just, just a way of auditory stimulation. The child may be babbling, no, 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 or making voices just to stimulate himself. So, if I stop this babbling, maybe then the vocabulary will come. Okay? So, how to stop this? The auditory stimulation has to stop. So, you follow whatever your speech therapist is saying because he is increasing the vocabulary. But I am telling you, that try to stop that babble so that vocabulary will increase in a much better way. Okay? Hi Meenal, uh, ma'am mera beta 3 years ka hai, sub point karta hai, fridge, TV, body parts, bus, bolta sirf, 4-5 words hai, mummy, papa, dudu, dedo, uska speech kaise develop kare. So Meenal, I really seriously don't need to know that what is the diagnosis, then only we would be able to help because a child may point at points and uh, would have a speech of only few of few words vocabulary i have to look into the intellectual part of it i really have to look into it, whether this is just a case of expressive speech delay what it is there could be so many differentials to that okay kavita mera beta 3 year 3 mera 3 years ke bete ko mild autism hai no sensory issues 70% command following karta hai. Expressive language kaise develop kare. Speech achhi hai. Name response nahi deta but wo batata hai ki usse kaun bula raha hai. But wo ignore kyo karta hai. Because he has got autism. That is why he is ignoring. So ignoring is a part of autism. You know now a command following aa chuki hai. Uh, expressive language ko develop kar raha hai. Again I have told you how you have to use expressive language okay so this this presentation was today to increase the expressive language if he is using one word get his attention and just feed him with that word then you use two words and this is how you have to do it Farman uh, Kulsuma Parvez is watching hi thank you for giving so much of time uh, Shore Vashisht. Hi, madam. My four 
Point three years old son speech is not generalized and clear. His eye contact is good. Follows command. Uh, speech is not generalized. He only speaks with me and therapist. Though his eye contact is fine. Okay. You know to get the speech generalized, you have to get into the generalization mode. That means to send him to school, to put him on play dates, to let the child come in. You have to become the therapist of the group. Make a group of two to three children. Initiate verbalization. Initiate vocalization. And this is how you have to do because uh, because he's talking to you. He's talking to the therapist. Eye contact is good and. Mm, for journalization, you have to have a journalized environment. Schooling is the best part. Make sure that the school is, first of all, is offline. I don't want an online school for journalization. Second, it is a very small group. I don't want 30 children in a class because else my child would get lost. Third is if you could use, if you yourself could become as a shadow teacher or as a therapist to initiate the journalization process in a school so a school which is very small and which is not like i'm not sending my child for um, academics i'm child i'm sending my child for journalization and for socializing so a small daycare sort of thing where two or three children are coming or a school which is like not a school basically a home based thing where two three children are coming for some socializing or group that is the place where your child would really learn journalization. Okay. Okay. So Amit, my son is 2 year, 11 months, 11, 2.11 years, diagnosis with mild to moderate autism. Therapy continued last three months and eye contact has become good. Name response also improved. Also, we felt that he's understanding facial expression. But he is speaking few words and rhymes of some song. So you have to just stop that rhymes. Because look, there are times when we use these rhymes to get the attention. But if these rhymes are getting into my brain and that is causing an obstruction and which is not letting for the journalization of thing or which is not letting to let other words go into my brain, I have to stop that. Okay. So till that point of time where the rhymes can be used to get my attention, we will use it. But once they get obsession and he just retreat those rhymes time and again, that is not a point. I have to stop that. Okay. Hi, Siddharth. Any suggestions to keep kids engaged? Any activity, toys when parents are busy? Yes, grandparents, uncles, aunts, friends, you know, to, I always tell that there are no such as such activities or toys because that will give them a lot of me time. I don't know at what point of time my child is. So if my child is in a very initial stage where we have just started picking up my child, I would not let my child go in for give any me time to my child. And that is the place where the you know, relatives and friends and family and grandparents come in. So just tell your family or shift to that place where there are children and parents so that my child does not have to engage on himself or we give a lot of me time. So that has to make sure of. Chavi. Uh, Ma'am, my child is three years, speech nil, sign of autism or ADHD. No, I don't understand your question. Hmm. Swapna, my son, mild autism, three, six, three years, six months, can speak many words, though he knows many items as he identifies and points, but communicates only non-verbally. Have name respond, but not everything. Hmm. I don't understand the question. I think it's there. Okay. But if asked, where is mama, papa, he don't. But if we give commands to give something to papa or mama, he follows. Yeah, I can understand that because this, these children, they don't like pointing. They don't like pointing towards the live things. If you ask on a paper, where is mama, where is papa, at times they could point. But for live things, so what do you do? Just pick up the, uh, just let the uh, child point and put the point towards yourself. Mama, 
papa show the picture show yourself show the picture show yourself and this is how you have to gain in the pointing okay i think most of the questions are again repeated mm. i think i've answered most of them richa repeating i think i've answered most of the questions because these are the again the same questions which are there let me find out a question which i have not answered hmm i think most of them are the same okay so i think i've answered most of them because most of the questions are again the repetitions of whatever i've answered so i think we should end over here our conversation and we'll try to uh, get more videos let me just put it that uh, the questions there are few of them which are bigger children so let me put it in the next video of all the explanation of how to proceed once you have got all these things how to proceed to the next step okay so till then take care of your children help 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 and help your child okay thank you so much have a great night have a good day ahead thank you